when we started doing the Get Trash, me and Dan talked about it. You know, the obvious choice, because they're our friends, and they would probably let us have it, was the Delaware River Club. Jeff, who runs it, is the best dude. He's an actual trout ball. I think this is a unique river because we're all wild fish. And they haven't stocked the West Branch since 93. On this episode, we're at the Delaware River Club in Pennsylvania. The other thing that makes it unique is the sheer amount of food available to these fish. Some of the kids up there with the pig farm have been doing a, uh, a river cleanup for five years now. Holy smokes, what it has turned into. It's the coolest group of folks I've ever met. And, and how many people have never uh, cast a fly before? Before last night. Before last night. It just feels like a lifetime ago, even though it was only like five years ago. I just feel like we've done so much between then and now. I guess the, the main point with this river is never, never give up. It makes it one of the most unique rivers, certainly in the east. Welcome to another exciting episode of Fishing with Jay. This week, the Calabrese. <laughs> Chris is one of my best friends. I read about Pig Farm Online and stuff, and I really like, I'm sure it was like, you know, Colorado, you guys are picking up like huge items of trash. And I was like, oh, we should do something like that. Any questions or anything? Found your website, and it was like, oh, to have your own event. And I was like, oh, perfect. You should do one of these. Get out here. Upriver. Yeah, I met Dan uh, when he was 18, I was 19. And the posse that they built through the days, holy smokes. Uh, yeah, it became friends instantly. He's traded mixtapes. Picking up trash on the Delaware River. And every year they've been doing this. Last year they got 95 tires out. Obviously we get a lot of fly fishermen and people that are interested in fly fishing, but I also think it's so cool and endearing that we get a fair amount of people that really don't even fish or have too much of an interest in fishing, but they just want something cool to do and have fun, and it does some good in the world. <laughs> They're just down to get down. Well, here's the situation. We've got the small boats going out, and they're grabbing, they're, they're finding all the stuff, and then the barge, like a drift boat, we, we, we'll hold it. Everybody, nice. I'm on a mission. We have a few groups of people um, that come every year, and they just come to our cleanups. Annual groups that come out to our cleanups, and I just think that's like super special. Y'all boats are pretty full so far. TVs, tires, all stuff people don't want. Two TVs. That, you know, fly fishing essentially was maybe a catalyst for people to get involved in their own conservation work. This is not a redneck dump. No self-respecting redneck. Would the TV not shot this year? Trying to get an uh, excavator tire out of this muddy side channel. And we have a bunch of beautiful people digging underneath trying to lock hands to get ratchet straps underneath the tire. And the community has been really cool. I mean, when I first moved out this way, there was days I would, <laughs> I would sit and actually look at the contacts in my phone, like who lives within an hour and a half of me that I can go fish I'm with. I'm feeling the other, the bottom part of the tire now. And now it's almost like I have too many people to fish with. It's like, damn, who should I call today? Who haven't I fished with in a little while? So that's like kind of cool. People that have no vested interest in this river come for the event and pick up trash, bust their asses. <laughs> and we've seen it grow every year. We fucking got this. <laughs> Look at these guys, hustling. So much trash. The average person's gonna stop and pick up like a Coke can or a beer bottle, but they're not going to pick up a couple tires while they're fishing. I'm just amazed by how many tires we found. <laughs> a lot of love, new how friends, many? and even <laughs> tears. <laughs> Tim did a whip it out of a um, whipped cream can. Uh, a found can. whipped cream can. On the side of 17. <laughs> Seeing people team together to pick up a river is something to behold. Quite the difference. This is what the hall is. That's all the steel over there. Bags in the trailer. I think now there's 85 tires. If you want to get a get trash started in your town, contact the pig farm. We can show you what we've learned and send you some prize packs and some information and maybe even we could show up and help launch the first one like we did here five years ago. See some of this stuff in countries we only see in magazines, right? Well, this is bad in Indonesia or Malaysia or wherever it is. This is right in our own backyard. 
Not anymore. Well, not this stuff. Every year, there's less trash. We want to get these things started across the nation, and with the help of the Heal and some sponsors, I think we can do it. If you pick something up out of the Delaware, no matter what time of year, drop it off. I'll deal with it. You got a tire in your boat, or you pick up some metal, or you know, even just a garbage bag, man. Just leave it with me, and thank you, and I'll take care of it. You'll find a home for it.